Our next guest has been putting her best foot forward for most of her life. She was a Radio City Rockette and has been on Broadway in A Chorus Line and Chicago. Now this dancer and Broadway actress getting personal with her next project. Please welcome Christy Whitehead to the Pick 7 Morning News. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, Hi. let's go through the resume. Actress, writer, producer, dance instructor. <laughs> Wow. And so much more. But like we said, you all began as a rock cat. What was that experience like? Incredible. I grew up going to the shows and um, I was 18. I was one of the youngest rockets at the time, but that was in yeah. 1998. Wow. It's a while it look, ago. Look, it looks like just yesterday. Well, thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you. you look <laughs> I could do the moves. Yeah. yeah. What was that like, though, being a rock cat? Um, it's the history that I love yeah. being a part of. Mm -hmm. um, I also popped out. I did the job where you, in the tour, you can pop out of a dressing room oh. and you give the story and you take yeah. pictures of people and they're like, oh. oh, that was cool. See, I like connecting with people. So yeah. that job was fun because I had people saying, I saw the movies back in the day when you oh, opened nice. for a movie. And I was like, well, that wasn't me, but uh, <laughs> oh. but yes, I'm a right. part of that legacy. Well, so it's you, an honor. You say you like working with people. You taught dance or teach dance? I or? teach dance, yes. I have a company called Broadway Arts Community with my best friend, Alexis Kara, And um, we mentor and teach acting for camera, musical theater, dance. Um, basically, we are being who we needed when you were younger. Mm. Um, and we've had quite a career. So we're passing it on to the next generation. Yeah. Yeah. Can That's you teach awesome. people who don't know how to dance? I do. Okay. Sure. Are you ready for a lesson? I'm, let's do it. I mean, right after this, let's go. I, I, let's go. <laughs> I have two left feet. And oh, I you can do it. My up. husband does too. And he's, Perfect. He's doing some isolation. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. There you go. well, you're then, ready? Yeah, seriously. All right. And then you have this <laughs> You have this new show also that you're bringing to the stage. And it's really important work that you're doing here. It's called In My Own Little Corner My Work in Progress with Bipolar Disorder. Yeah. Play a quick little clip and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, great. Oh, we don't have it. Funny. Oh, my friends, and even random people, used to ask me, Chrissy, what are you on? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I would say, <laughs> life, people, you. So what was the inspiration really behind the project and the important work you're doing? Well, in 2018, I got diagnosed with bipolar two disorder, and I was like, what is this about? Yeah. And you know, when anybody gets a diagnosis, you kind of go, um, how did I get this? Yeah. What does it mean in my life? And what could I do about it? Yeah. Did and you have any idea that this was happening? No, but I was, um, I was already dealing with my, the passing of my mother in 2013. Oh, sorry. Thank you. So I was in therapy. I've always been a, an avid goer of therapy and a believer in them. And a therapist suggested me getting on an antidepressant. Mm. But then two years later, um, I did feel better. And that helped a lot. I was on Wilbutrin. And then um, the therapist in the mountains when I was living says, mm, can you go with me on this? I'm, I'm seeing you feeling happy and sad and happy and sad and you're crying and you're fine. Do you mind going to be reassessed by a psychiatrist for bipolar disorder? And I said, okay. Yeah. Um, and when they told me about it and I started doing my research about it and I'm unraveling this diagnosis with the audience, that's what the show is, yeah. Yeah. is to say, hey, I didn't know, I knew nothing about it. I am, there's two different, bipolar one, bipolar two, there's two different ones, a lot of people don't know that. Um, I knew that I needed to get the proper help and I did, and I do see it now. Now sometimes I say with artists and scientists, yeah. we have this like surge of energy about us, right? Yeah. And it kind of makes sense, like you're, you know, like that clip you just saw, Chrissy, what are you on? Mm -hmm. You know, I jive off of connecting with people. Yeah. Like I love this, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Um, I think back in the past, before I got on a mood stabilizer, because it's a mood disorder, okay. I am able now to see it and feel it, and I can, I can manage it. Yeah. And I have tools. So this show is really to normalize conversations around mental health, so, so thank important. you for having us here. More it's people us. should talk about it. Yeah, it's a family show. I mean, I'm not here because, I'm only here because of one person, and her name is Kirsten Wrinkle. Mm -hmm. She's the arts angel mission mover. She's our producer. She's financing all of this. Wow. We're on a mini tour right now. We really want to keep reaching more and more people so that they don't feel alone. Yeah. And that we can just go, hey, how are you taking care of your brain? Yeah. What are, what are you doing for that? Right. And uh, that there is help out there and that it's okay and it doesn't have to look so scary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dun dun dun, bipolar disorder. Right. Like, I'm managing it. Yeah. It's okay. It's mm -hmm. manageable. Yeah. Just like having a sickness, just like having diabetes, mm -hmm. right? We all take stuff. Yeah. So that, that's really what we're here for. And I sing and I dance and I make some jokes. <laughs> and I tug at your heart because my mom didn't take care of her health. Yeah. Oh. And so you're seeing two different stories. It's a mother-daughter love story. Okay. So we really want to get it out there 
whoever wants to hear the story, any theaters, any uh, people who are philanthropists who want to give to this message and say, I think there's healing in the mm -hmm. arts. Well, I, I really think, do. I really think it's wonderful that you're you're brave to come out and tell your story because mm. some people are, first of all, not even brave enough to tell their friends and family, right. but you're sharing your story and making such a huge difference. Thank you. So thanks so much for coming on and sharing it with us. Thank yes. you for coming. I hope you can come see the show. Yes, I'll yes. be there and the dance lessons. Oh. I got two for, <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to give you some time steps because I'm going to prepare you for the rock hands. <laughs> well, there you go. Ah! <laughs>